For index, I will write the test at the top of the class and the test is, so let's start with declaring this as a test. So the test is can return a collection of paginated products. Because we want to return a collection of paginated products, I will create three products instead of one. So we have product one equal to this create product. And I will do this three times. Okay. We have a get request. So this, oops, JSON get. We should already know the endpoint by now. And the response should be a 200. Okay. The difference for this test is that Laravel will change the JSON structure a bit. Because we are requesting a collection of items, the items will be inside data. So they are wrapped inside data. Also, because we are referring to a collection of items, in order to test the structure, we have to use the asterisk as the key. So let me show you. We have assert JSON structure. And as we said, everything will be inside data. And because this is a collection, we have an asterisk to define that we have many items. And then we can define the keys. So the keys are very simple because we have already done this a couple of times. So this is how it should look like. Okay, I guess we can get rid of that and have this in one line. Okay. Now regarding the route, if I include the index, it means that we are talking about a full route resource except edit. Those, what I will do is to remove all of them, create a route resource. So the endpoint is products, the controller is product, controller, and I want everything except edit. So edit is not used, the edit, the edit action is not used, so we can uh, not include the route for the, for the edit. Regarding the controller, I will create the index. However, there is a big, big change. Okay. So we cannot use product resource this time. This is because the product resource is used for a single product. When it comes to a collection of products, we have to use a resource collection. In the console, you can run PHP artisan, make resource, product collection. This will create a new resource class. However, this one is used for collections. So inside the resources, you can see now that we have this product collection. And this is used only when you return two or more products. You can use the default code or change it in order to change the structure of the output. So the structure of the output that we are going to work with, uh, it has data that we have already declared here. However, it also has links and meta are used for pagination. So if you want to change the structure of the output or if you want to include something else, you can do it here. To learn more about this, you can use the documentation. Otherwise, I will have uh, a course in the future that goes in depth when it comes to TDD and resource collections in Laravel. For now, I will just keep the code as it is and continue. Inside index, we can use the product collection. New product collection. I will use the product model and call paginated. Not paginated, paginate. Okay. This time I'm not using resource JSON for the index. 
because the result is by default JSON. However, I used it here inside store and inside uh, destroy because we are changing the status code. So the status code is not 200 for destroy and not 200 for for store. For store is 201 and for destroy is 204. Because I had to change the status code, I used the response JSON. However, in this case, we will keep this as it is without response JSON and this is going to work. At the end of this course, we are going to go through a refactoring stage. So we are going to make some modifications and maybe get rid of these response JSONs that we have. Anyways, we can go back to the test. And before we run this, as I said, we are paginating the results. So if I log the content, if I go here and I say log info, response, get content. Okay, so we have to run the test. Okay, so this is the name of the test. Okay, so we have a 500. So let me take a look. Of course, of course, we have to import product collection. Okay, the class is imported. So now if I try this again, but before I try this, let me delete that. Okay, now it passes. And as you can see, because this is paginated, you should also get some um, extra data, such as links. So you have first, last, some other for previous and next, and then you have meta. So you have some extra uh, information about the pagination. So what I will do is to actually include all of that inside here. So we have links. So inside links, you have first, last, brief for previous and next. Okay. Then you also have meta. So for meta, we have current page, last page from to path per page and total. Okay, so if I run this again, let me delete the content, the log. Okay, so if I run this again, it should pass. And as you can see, it passes. However, take a look at the assertions. From 18 assertions, we are at 31. So we added 13 assertions. And this is because I'm also including some assertions for the pagination now. Before I close this video, let me also run all the tests. So we, we are certain that everything is correct. Okay, excellent. 10 tests, 52 assertions, everything is green. So everything works. By just running one command, you can see that your system works. So now in the future, we are going to test validation errors. We are going to have the API to use the aft middleware. And also we are going to see how we can use relationships inside our resources, because up to now we're just using, uh, you know, whatever the product has, for example, ID, name, slide price, and created that. However, when it comes to relationships, it is a bit more different. And we are also going to see how we can test file uploads because the product should have an image in our case. And this is something that we are going to test.